Parliament Box. Geographically, the country of Hungary is located in A, South America, B, Africa, C, Europe, D, the stomach. <laughs> it's always in my stomach, Eddie, but I will go for C, Europe. Europe is locked in and correct for $100. <laughs> I want to get that one right. Two hundred dollars. Which of these is a the name for the covering of an aircraft engine? A. Cowling. B. Dogling. C. Horseling. D. Duckling. I have absolutely no idea, Eddie. Um, aircraft engine covering. I'm going to have to pass. I, I don't even know where to start. See you, Isaac. <laughs> Catch you later, buddy. <laughs> He's your boyfriend, by the way. G'day, Xavier. Hi, Ed. How you going? Welcome. <laughs> Molly, which of these is the name for the covering of an aircraft engine? A, cowling. B, dogling. C, horsling. D, duckling. Um, I'm not 100% sure, actually, but I think I'd lock in A, Eddie. Lock in A? Yeah. Or... Lock it in? Yep, lock in A. Suddenly you like cows again, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. Cowling's correct for $200. <laughs> $300. Which of these is not a popular online dating website? A. RSVP. B. E. Harmony. C. Oasis Active. D. Love Bites. I'm pretty sure it's D, Eddie. Look in D. Love Bites is locked in. Correct for $300. Where'd you meet Xavier? At school. We went to school together. At school. You've been together five years. You're 21. How old's Xavier? Peter Parker is the real name of which Marvel Comics character? A, Iron Man. B, Silver Surfer. C, Spider-Man. D, Captain America. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's C, Eddie, looking Spider-Man. Spider-Man's in, correct for $500. <laughs> well played, Molly. 11 more questions, I'll give you $1 million <laughs> right after this. A bolster is a type of chisel specifically for cutting which of these? A glass, B wood, C metal, D bricks. I'm not 100% sure, Eddie, so I think I'm going to pass. Well, that didn't take any time at all, did it? You're just out of here. <laughs> See you, Molly. Catch ya. <laughs> Hello, Josh. How are you going? Welcome to the show, mate. Josh yeah. Peart is a, from Keeler in Victoria. He's an electrician. That's right. Who with, mate? Alton. Who's Alton? Oh, they're just a contract. The ten after that for a million dollars. A bolster is a type of chisel specifically for cutting which of these? Glass, wood, metal, bricks. Tough one, Eddie. Um, I'm not sure what the answer is, actually, but I, for some reason, bricks stood out to me, so I'm going to lock in D, bricks. Locked in. It's correct for $1,000. Heavy chisel designed to cut brick and stone. Fifteen hundred dollars. Which of these words does not feature in the first line of the USA's national anthem? A. Light. B. Say. C. C. D. Star. Uh, I know it's definitely not B or C. Oh, you sing it for us. If you oh, like. I'm, trying, I'm singing it in my head, but no, I don't know the it. words. Sing it, I know I say, can you see? And then after that, it's just, I don't have anything. It's either A, light, or... Uh, Six seconds, you can pass. I'm going to pass, Eddie. I don't see you, know. Josh. Sorry. Catch Thank you later. You. Oh, I think I know it well enough. All right, which of these words does not feature in the first line of the USA's national anthem? Light, say, see, star. Well, I'm hoping it's by the dawn's early light, so I'm... Having to say D star. Lock in D star? Yes, please. It's locked in. So, what do you reckon? How does it go? They say, can you see by the dawn's only light? Correct for 1500. <laughs> well, the star gets a run in the third line. It's amazing. We know the American National Anthem probably better than the Australian one. But anyway, <laughs> Star Spangled Banner officially adopted by Congress in 1931. Nine questions, million dollars. Let's go, Lee. Good luck. The spice paprika is obtained from a kind of what? A turnip, B onion, C capsicum, D radish. OK, 
hair, I'm pretty certain. It's got the red tone, I'm thinking, the capsicum. Um, gosh, I pass. Capsicum, lock it in, C. Locked in, C, capsicum. Correct for two and a half. Dried and ground with a deep orange colour. It is sensational. All right, Lee. We're eight questions away from a million dollars. Here it comes. Which of these artists did not perform at the 2014 TV Week Logie Awards? A. John Newman. B. Danny Minogue. C. Ed Sheeran. D. Jason Derulio. Okay. Jason Derulio, I'm pretty sure, did because he had a rather, yeah, unusual dance routine. Um, John Newman, he was in town at the time, because I saw him. Um, Ed Sheeran, Danny Minogue. I'm not certain. Ten seconds. Mm. Five. Danny Minogue. Log in Danny Minogue. Danny Minogue is correct for four thousand. And his sister Kylie performed. Okay. I actually didn't see it, so I'm just... <laughs> I only saw bits. And, well, when I see John Newman, I think of Sam Newman, but <laughs> the other one was there as well. $6,000. Good luck, Lee. Where did the beverage known as bubble tea originate in the 1980s? A. China. B. Japan. C. Taiwan. D. India. Um, I've never heard of bubble tea. Unfortunately, even though I'm British, I should know more about it, but um, I'm going to have to pass it. I don't know if I'll come back, but I just don't know. OK, you tell me sort of seven questions to go. Five plus Bubble tea. Mm. Um, bubble, bubble, bubble. Taiwan? So you tell me what to do. OK, no, China. Go A. Taiwan. <laughs> Sometimes known as pearl tea, containing little balls made from tapioca starch. Are you English? Where about you from, Britain? I was born in London, but lived in Surrey. Ah, oh, bad luck, Lee. Oh, well. N not about living in Surrey. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> Mind you. Uh, Lee, oh, thanks very much. That. You're playing beautifully, too. Yeah, well. Yeah, hit it. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Lee. See you later. <laughs> born in Australia in 1909, Sir Robert Helpman was a famous what? A, lighting designer, B, opera singer, C, costume designer, D, ballet dancer. Um, I know that he was a uh, ballet dancer, so let's lock in D, please, Eddie. Lock in D, Sir Robert Helpman was a ballet dancer for $6,000. <laughs> ballet dancer, choreographer, ballet director, Australian of the Year in 1965, and the Helpman Awards to these that to this day is still uh, the awards given yeah. for those for high achievement in the arts. We have got five questions, five contestants. Everyone's in the money. Ten thousand dollars. Introduced in 70, 1743, Broughton's Rules were an early regulation of which sport? A. Boxing. B. Cricket. C. Soccer. D. Tennis. Okay. So... 1743, Broughton's Rules. So this is uh, one I don't know, so I'm just going to eliminate what I think it's not. Um, 10 seconds. 1743. I'll lock in B, Eddie. Cricket. Final answer. Oh, nice, no, son. It's in. Uh, no, he just missed uh, Vicky. Boxing, in Boxing. fact. Boxing. Uh, he was an English champion, John Broughton, and devised a basic system of rules, including how many people are allowed in the ring and what constitutes a defeat. Of course, we now know it more as the Marquis of Queensbury rules with boxing, okay. which is the modern fighting, but back in those days, brought rules with boxers. Vicky, right. thanks for being part Thank of the you. show. Good on it. Good luck on the wire. If something is described as noisome, it is by definition which of these? A, noisy, B, foul smelling, C, brand new, D, crowded. Ooh, Ooh. Noisome. Very 
hard one, that one. The pass if you like, 10. Four. Yeah, I think I left the pass here. You want to have a go? We'll pass quick. No, I'll let the pass. See you later, Gary. Keep you in play. I'd say $10,000. If something is described as noisome, it is by definition which of these? Noisy, foul smelling, brand new, crowded. I can't remember anyone ever describing a foul smell as noisome or something that's brand new. So I'm tossing up between A and D. Like I would, if someone was noisome, you'd think they were maybe noisy, but I'm thinking maybe it's a noisome crowd Ten. or... Um, I'm thinking A, Eddie. I'll, um, I'll lock in A. Locked in. Two seconds on the clock. Jess, what would you have gone for? I might have gone for crowded. You would have gone for crowded? Maybe. She's a smart one. I think this is a noisome question. Oh! Foul smelling. No. Yeah, also means noxious or harmful. Uh, Jess, you're going to stick with him now that he's got no money? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd put up with him. Good on you, Thanks, Isaac. Good on you, buddy. <laughs> Hello, Molly. Come on. Five years <laughs> until this moment. Um, <laughs> here we go, Molly, for 10 grand. <laughs> According to the Rolling Stones, who was born in a crossfire hurricane? A, Jumpin' Jack Flash, B, Honky Tonk Woman, C, Street Fighting Man, or D, Ruby Tuesday? Oh, gosh. My mum would 100% know this one. You know the song? Not quite. I think I think I do. I'm not sure. I think it's between A and B. I think I'm thinking B was my first thing that I thought. Born in a crossfire hurricane. Oh, it's A. Five seconds. Oh, A. Three quick. B. Uh, lock in A, Eddie. It was less than a second. What about a honky tonk woman? Oh, Eddie. <laughs> It's not Ruby Tuesday and it's not Street Fight oh, Man. No. <laughs> Jumpin' Jack Flash. It's a gas, gas, gas. Correct for ten thousand. <laughs> To Gary, that's it. You knew that one, didn't you, Gary? Yeah. You're a big Stones fan, are you? Yep. yep. Uh, by the way, Molly, uh, no one appreciates you saying your mum would know that song, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Molly, get this right. You win $1,000. Next shot for 50000 Get it wrong. Josh is up for a shot at twenty grand. Good luck. This is it for some money. Fashion designer Coco Chanel was born with what first name? A. Angelique. B. Gabriel. C. Charlotte. D. Marie. I'm not sure about this one either. Chanel, Chanel. I don't think it would be Charlotte or Marie because it's just oh, maybe it would be Marie. I think it would be not Charlotte, one of the other ones, Gabrielle maybe. Marie, Chanel, Gabrielle. I don't know, Eddie. Maybe D. D or B, I'm thinking. 10 seconds. Lock in D. Final answer? Lock in B, Eddie. OK. Oh. D, lock so in D, lock in D. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not B. I hope it's not B. Good golly, Miss Molly, it's B. Oh, no, her nickname was Coco, but her proper name was Gabrielle oh, Chanel. Oh, gosh. That was, that's uh, my it's displayed on uh, Chanel perfume bottles and product packaging, by the way. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Molly. You had it. I should have gone. You jumped with a second to go. That's all right. Uh, yeah, I thought you'd be all the way there. Me <laughs> too. Located near Lord Howe Island is the large volcanic stack called Balls What? A sphere. B pyramid. C cylinder. D block. Okay, um, I don't know this at all. What are all of this large volcanic stack? Volcanic stack with full squat. Look, I'm thinking A or B, I don't know why. Cylinder sounds wrong, balls block sounds strange, so 
to the A sphere or B pyramid. I'm just going to go for A, Eddie. It jumped out at me from the start. So tell me what to do. I'll lock in A sphere. Five seconds. Yeah, lock in A sphere. Spheres locked in. Uh, Joshua in a pyramid, mate. Yeah. A sea stack or a volcanic stack is the ancient remains of the once active volcano, named for its shape. Yeah, some seven oh. million years ago. Josh, you win $1,000. Yes. Congratulations. Josh Pitt has won a grand.